The menopause is often associated with hot flushes and mood swings, but did you know that these hormonal fluctuations can lead to a higher incidence of back pain? Oestrogen plays an important role in maintaining skeletal health, promoting the activity of bone building cells, helping to slow the breakdown of bones, and a drop in oestrogen can result in a higher incidence of osteoporosis, especially after menopause. Falling oestrogen can also result in lower levels of vitamin D, which is essential for bone health, as it's required by the body to effectively absorb calcium. These changes result in a reduced range of mobili mobility or in existing back pain becoming more severe. So what can be done? Well, first of all, get out into the sun. Now that summer is upon us, it's much easier uh, to reach recommended levels of vitamin D. If you're worried about skin damage, you don't have to sit in the sun for hours on end to reap the benefits. Studies have shown that just 15 minutes of direct sun exposure on bare skin is plenty to get enough vitamin D for the day. Probably about 40% of your um, skin should be exposed to get the right uh, amount of vitamin D, and ideally two or three times a week at least. Also, eat foods rich in vitamin D, such as oily fish like mackerel and salmon, as well as eggs, steak, mushrooms, uh, and whole milk and full fat yogurt. Not only are they rich in vitamin D, they're ideal for upping your calcium levels too, which will strengthen your bones and help guard against osteoporosis. If you're on a dairy-free or vegan diet, Good alternatives include soya beans, almonds, seaweed, and all the green vegetables, which are high in calcium and vitamin D. However, it's worth noting that these foods are harder uh, to reach the recommended dose because you've got to eat so much of them. If you drink plant-based milk, opt for one that's fortified with vitamin D. Try a supplement if you're worried and you're not getting enough vitamin D through sunlight or food, and a good quality liquid supplement um, is, is really helpful. It's ideal for improving bone health, especially if it's combined with vitamin K2, which uh, helps utilization. Also, get involved in strength training. This can help bone deterioration over time, and by building bone, it helps to protect against fractures. It doesn't have to involve lifting heavy weights. Uh, in fact, it's a good idea to start small with resistance bands and work your way up to more challenging lifting. Back pain is very common in menopausal people and it's easily managed. If you'd like some help with your back pain, book in for an appointment here with us at Sundial. We're always happy to help.